Hi, we're back with a new video and today we're gonna check out three exercises that are gonna help you with your hips. So you're gonna do these exercises to get stronger hips and in the end stronger kicks. Let's check them out. So the first exercise we're gonna check out today, I like to call this one the external and internal rotation complex. We're gonna take a sit and we're actually using bands today, myself and Miss Kyla right here, but you don't really need to use bands if uh, it, because it might be challenging enough even without bands, especially in the beginning, right? So we're gonna take a sit and we're gonna go down uh, sideways, but first we're just gonna add the bands right around the thighs right here. And from there, you're just gonna support yourself on the elbow. You make sure you keep your back straight and you're pretty much your knees bending right here. And we're gonna start with the external uh, rotation, the open climb we call this one. So you just go all the way to the back. And normally you have to do about 10 reps on this one just to feel uh, pretty tight, pretty tired and challenging. If you have no bands, you should do it for about 15 reps at least, right? The second step of this exercise is gonna be the internal rotation. So you're gonna get your heel up, and you're gonna, this one has ha, does not have a lot of motion in it. Do your best to keep your knee down here and to actually lift your, your hip, your, your heel. So you're gonna go heel up, heel towards the ceiling, and you're gonna do it again for about 10 times the bands, 15 times with no bands. After you're over these two, you are gonna straighten your leg. You are pretty much are gonna do a side raise, a lateral low raise. This one is pretty, pretty simple. You're just gonna go all the way up one and two and three. What you want to look for on this one is to keep your body forward and not open up and toes uh, go up towards the ceiling. That's not good. Then you're gonna start training more the front of your leg, which is pretty much is your hip flexor. So you want to stay more sideways to actually work more on your hip muscles that are right here behind and they help you with your kicks and they activate when you kick. So you're gonna go more like in a side or a side kick position. And from there, you're just gonna raise and raise and raise. After this one, you are gonna go again with uh, the internal rotation. So you're gonna go all the way in the back and you're gonna bring it all the way forward. You're it's like a big circle. This one, if you think about it, is very similar with crescent kicks. So you're just going forward from the outside, forward from the outside, forward. After you've done the reps here, which are again, 10 with the band, 15 with no band, you are gonna go the other way. So this is external rotation, like an external, like outside crescent kick, outside axe kick pretty much. And you just keep going with the required reps here as well. And then if you can add two more for fun, we used to do this a lot. Uh, you can do infinities here. So you're just pretty much drawing infinities and you are doing the same number of reps. And you can also write your own name, right? A, B, R, and just keep going obviously with your own name. And that's pretty much it. This would be the uh, external and internal rotation kick exercise uh, that it's always good to do. You should do it during the off season and even during the season when uh, you have more time, you can actually add it at least once a week and you're gonna have healthier hips and stronger hips. The second exercise we have for you today is the unilateral RDL. So it's one-legged RDL, which is a Romanian deadlift pretty much. Normally you'd perform it, let's say the regular deadlift, you perform it with both feet on the ground, then you normally have weight over here, get in this position, and then you are gonna get all the way up, right? But this one, it's a more specific for Taekwondo. We spend a lot of time on one leg, and I think it's one of the greatest exercises you could actually do uh, when it comes to Taekwondo. Uh, just because uh, the, the position that you're getting in, and I'm just gonna explain it step by step, all right? And we're gonna check it out why it's great for Taekwondo too. So from here, pretty much, you're gonna uh, focus on staying forward and just, uh, you're gonna use one leg. The other leg is gonna go up and you pretty much go forward, almost like in an airplane position, but you don't really need to do that. You're gonna bend all the way from your hip the back leg goes up, you can keep it straight or bending, doesn't really matter, as long as you, your hips are staying forward and you are not turning sideways like this one you do, okay? So you're just gonna go here, you're gonna go one, and you come back two, three, and you come back four, 
and normally you have to do 10 to 12 reps uh, in a slow motion, you don't have to go super fast. Uh, this is a great exercise for balance and it's a great exercise if you think about the position of the base leg uh, when it comes to takes a position similar that it, you have when you do hook kicks or when you do front leg techniques. This leg takes similar, the same position that you would take during the RDL. So let's, I'm just going to share one more time from the side. If you're going to be side, just for you to be, see a better angle from here, I'm only bending mostly from the hip, not my knee. And then I'm coming back, right? And of course, this is if this becomes super easy for you, you can start holding weights. I normally hold weights in my hand, and I just go forward, and I come back, and I just go forward, and I come back with it for 12 seconds. The third exercise we're checking out today, it's an isolated type of kicking. You start the middle level and you're gonna end up head level. Uh, this is gonna kill all the momentum and it just makes it much harder to get to the head level. So this one is great for even improving your head level kicks, but overall uh, just to, you know improving and straining your hip muscles that are gonna help you with all the kicks that you need. Right? So you start on a support, you can also do this by yourself, you don't need a partner, you can do it on a bag or on a chat or on a bob, uh, you can do it on the wall. Uh, it's a little hard to do it mid, uh, mid air uh, with no support just because it's just harder. But you can start on the wall and you can do it with a kick me there, for example, similar how we do it here. So you're gonna put your uh, uh, kicking leg pretty much on the middle level. You're gonna rest it there. And from there you start kicking head level. And you go one, and two, and three. So that's, that's the range you gotta cover from middle to head level. And this can be done with roundhouse like we just did it, or it can be done with hook kick like this Carlos doing it over here and you do it pretty much in the same way. And of course you can be done with the axe kick too. If I turn on the axe kick on this side, you are just gonna extend the leg and drop on the axe kick. And as you can see, the foot comes back always to the middle level. That's gonna be the harder part, not drop it all the way down as soon as you're done. So you're here, up, and just stop in the middle level. Up and stop on the middle level. These three exercises should all help you get stronger hips and better, way better kicks. This is it for today. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and of course subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next episode. W1 out.